I didn't even know that the original Sigma 2470 DGDN needed an update, as it is an amazing lens in its own right, but apparently it did. Sigma has just announced an upgrade, version 2.0 Mark II of their very popular and very good 24-70mm to lens. Is it better? Is it the 24-70mm to shoot with right now? And is it a lens for you? Keep watching to find out more. There's no surprise that this lens is premium high quality zoom lens. It is Sigma, it is Sigma art. And if this lens can deliver very high quality images and video, it's not a guess. It does. The first one, the original 2470, came out some five years ago now, and it was one of the first DGD and Sigmas made, especially for mirrorless cameras. They have made a lot of new lenses since they have come up with a new HLA high response linear actuator focusing system, and most of their current lenses now follow a set design. The 2470 needed to be updated and refreshed now. So, performance wise, very good, exceptionally good. Sigma have improved the optical design and this new version is a perfect match for any of the newer high resolution cameras. The overall optical performance of this lens is just outstanding. Minimum chromatic aberration, flaring and ghosting is very well under control. Sharp, of course, really nice and Sigma signature color and contrast and a zoom lens that is very, very hard to complain about. Nothing to complain optically about it for sure. Combining the optics with a very good and accurate autofocus makes it a pretty much a perfect lens for everyday usage. Everything from architecture to landscape, portrait, close-up, wide angle and everything in between. Minimum focusing distance is 17 cm at wide end and 34 cm fully zoomed in. Very decent for a lens like this, something that in my opinion makes zooms like this much more versatile. Constant minimum aperture of f2.8 throughout its zoom range makes it more usable for shooting in lower lighting conditions and of course for creating that nice subject to background separation and bokeh. More you zoom in and closer you get to your subject, more the background behind your subject you will get thanks to zoom compression. 24 70mm was always considered a standard zoom as it covers a very useful standard range. It is often used as just one lens for everything and this one can do everything very well. Video, the 24mm focal length offers a versatile field of view, wide enough to capture scene while still providing some depth to your shots. This makes it ideal for run and gun shooting scenarios where you need to adapt quickly to changing situations without sacrificing quality. 70mm gives enough reach to capture close-ups without changing your position too much too, but you also get everything in between the standard focal lengths of 35mm and 50mm. Very good, solid autofocus performance, no surprise there at all. Vlogging often involves shooting while holding the camera at arm's length, making a wider focal length essential for capturing both the vlogger, you, and their surroundings. The 24mm focal length strikes a balance between providing a wide field of view, wide enough, and minimizing distortion, making it an excellent choice for handheld vlogging, especially when a wider lens isn't available or practical to use. Overall, it is a lens that can deliver rock-solid video performance. Build. It is smaller and lighter than the original first version, but not much. 7% smaller and 10% lighter. It weighs 745 grams, 90 gram less than the previous version. It looks almost identical, but like it had been on a diet and lost a bit of a midriff. Same 82 mm filter thread, but now the end of it seems wider because the overall lens barrel is thinner. The biggest difference is the new manual aperture ring. This is in line with all other current Sigmas. There's also additional focus hold button now. There's a two now. Uh, this can be programmed to whatever you need by the camera, both to the same function, of course. Lots of switches, standard auto manual auto focus switch, a switch to have aperture uh, clicking or clickless. Aperture lock, this is to lock the aperture in auto mode or keep it out of auto in manual mode only, uh, preventing it from accidental 
changes. There is zoom lock as well. This locks the lens in at 24 millimeters, so it does not extend by accident when being carried around or when taking the lens out of the bag, for example. Nice thing is that this locks disengages itself as soon as you turn the zoom ring. Great, as you don't need to find it, to fiddle with it, when you need to zoom in and take the photo quickly. The lens extends a bit when zooming in, standard. The zoom ring turns anti-clockwise, standard with all Sigma lenses, but annoying if you use other lenses as well. All Sony or Lumix lenses to turn the other way. The zoom ring is nice and stiff and there's some plastic on plastic rubbing hearable when zooming in or out. Not unusual either. The lens is fully weather sealed, there's no dust inside problem and it is ready for serious pro abuse in all weather conditions. No internal stabilization built in and you do need a Sigma optional extra cost dock for installing future firmware updates. Price here in UK, the lens costs £1,179 and $1,199 in US. Very good price for a premium 24 70mm zoom lens. So the G Master Mark II is pretty much identical size, a tiny bit lighter and nearly a thousand pounds or dollars more expensive. The Lumix 24 70mm is bigger, heavy and way more expensive too. The only real competition this has got is the original, the first version, which right now is only marginally cheaper, brand new. This is certainly an upgrade, but only small upgrade. Marginally faster and better AF and manual aperture ring are not that important to a lot of photographers or filmmakers. And if you already own the first version and you are happy with it, it might not need changing for this yet. Conclusion, this is an exceptional lens. This is definitely Sigma's flagship and a zoom that is gonna be instant classic. The first version had initial problems that gave it somehow bad reputation for a while. This is new, fresh approach and a lens to compete with all other 2470s for Sony and L mount cameras. Possibly we will see Canon RF and Nikon Z versions of it sometime soon too. The price makes it more accessible, gives more people a chance to own and shoot with a pro quality optics. Something that was always too expensive and out of reach of most. This lens is definitely a lens that could be just one lens for everything. Versatile, high quality option that can reduce overall size of your kit and a tool that won't let you down. Sigma can make amazing lenses and this is no exception. Highly recommended. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way helpful or informative. If it was, please give me the thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and consider subscribing. Check out my Lightroom presets. The link is below in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.